10th of July 2023 this is one of that what a fuck moments and the thing was triggered by a comment on one of the videos and another tweet that I saw today on Twitter and uh, a discussion I had with someone and it is about this moonshot pack of John Steenason. Now I've made my feelings about that very clear. As far as I'm concerned, that's not a moonshot, that's a shit shot. The most important thing that you need to keep in mind is that the DA is incapable of maintaining coalitions. They cannot. For the simple reason, they're arrogant and they try to impose their will on everybody. And all the parties must just swing with them happily and merrily with no with real consideration for the smaller parties' feelings. And I also can understand them, their position in, uh, in many of the situations. They are the majority of, of these uh, coalitions. So to get a minority of the coalition to be the, you know, the top spot, like the mayor. That is crazy. It doesn't work like that. The other, that's another problem. The South African political environment, the players in the political environment, they also don't understand how coalitions should work, can work. I know Connie Miller from VF Plus has put a lot of work in and trying to get some sanity in coalitions and he's doing it. But uh, the fact of the matter is, the general undisciplined conduct of most political players is a fuck up that we will have to live with and we saw that in Pretoria, we saw it in Joburg, we I don't even want to talk about that Joburg balls up. But the tragedy is, it is us, the people, that are suffering. We don't get service delivery. Well they play their dick measuring games up there in the ivory towers. This is a major problem. Our political system is a thing based on a British fuck up and it is not for a country like this. One of the major issues was that Codessa meeting. It was a fuck up of note that I have said it right from the beginning. The main players at the table were selected by the Triple X and they sat there and they got so much publicity to validate them. Everybody was just staring at the shit show. At that Kodesa table, where was the Zulu leaders? Where were the Koza leaders? Where were the Benda leaders? Where were the cultural leaders, where were they? Why were they not there? Where was Jaap Mare? Where was Andri Streernicht? Why were they not there? Now, me, a white Afrikaner, was represented. I'm not going to say by what, because that will get me in deep shit. But the fact of the matter is, we have all been bluffed. That was the reality. Bullshit. And in the end, the two main players, the National Party and the ANC, walked away from that table. They were the kings. What was that? And look at the mess we are in today. You, the ANC voter, living in rural South Africa, you are not represented. You think you're represented, but you're not. Because after you've casted your vote in the eye, uh, 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 yes, I'm now so the blacks, I mean, I can't even remember what they are. Uh, that guys that uh, control the voting process, IEC, I think, they call the big weeks from the politi political parties and say, you've got 100 seats, you've got 50 seats, you've got 75 seats, you've got one seat, and shit like that. And then those political leaders, 
They go to their little circle. And what do they do there? They choose their jobbies to fill their seats that they've got. Nobody from you and from your community sitting there in rural South Africa. So don't bullshit yourself and think this is a democracy. It's not a democracy. Okay, let me step away from it. Let's come to this moonshot pack. This poster asked me, what do I think? And then the poster listed the parties involved. And I got an email from somebody else asking me specifically about the UIM. And I have mentioned Neil De Beer in some of my skip marks. That guy's got a big mouth, man. He's just a whap, 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 whap. And he is from the Oknos bloodlines. So, I don't trust him at all. First of all, I've got a basic principle when it comes to politicians. A politician that changes from one party to another party, that's it as far as I'm concerned. I will never trust him. Never. Never. That is me personally. We look at the DA, the main player, and we know what they do. But we know the DA is connected to the triple X. They're indebted to the triple X. We know it. The Freedom Front Plus, that's a different story for me. I've got my I've got my ideas about it, but from the information that I have, the leader, he is okay. But there are other powerful elements in that party that has also got glue on them. So, I'm not so sure. And then the person mentioned more parties. and I don't want to go through each and every one of them. For me, the reality is that Moonshot Packs is shit shot for the simple one of the basic reasons why it will fail is because the ANC will not surrender power. If they lose the election, they're going to unleash hell on us. They're going to use their soldiers, the Sasa generation and the squatters surrounding all the cities. They're going to create havoc. Nothing will operate because they will not surrender power. They will not. So, look in Africa. That's how it works in Africa. I am sitting here today. The one thing that I think that can save us is if we allow nature to go its way in the ANC and that unholy alliance being kept together by elastoplast, band-aid, masking tape, rubber bands, whatever, wire, barbed wire, binding wire, bailing wire, whatever shit they can get together to keep that bullshit story together. Because the ANC today it's just a ball of bullshit. That is what it is. There is so much conflict in that party. There is so much faction fighting. We only see the sparks fly here and there. We don't see the glowing coals because they keep a blanket over that. But that thing is... It reminds me of a pressure cooker of which a release valve has jammed. And you're prancing around the kitchen there and doing your things and making your potato salad and making your tomato salad and putting the cutlery on the table, merrily happy that steam cooker is going like a Boeing. But what you don't realize is that the release valve is jammed on the thing. And if you were fortunate, you went for a pee and it exploded. So you just come back and you have to face the mess. But if you're unlucky, you're in the kitchen there when it happens. And you are covered in boiling whatever was in that cooker. If you're lucky, a 
piece of flying metal didn't hit you between the eyes. The ceiling is covered in the shit. Holes ripped in this, through the ceiling where the piece of metal flew through. Chaos on the stove, chaos on the floor, chaos in the whole kitchen. And you are there standing with your eyes this fucking wide, bleeding. You're bleeding from the wounds and you are covered in boiling whatever was in that pot. So you're burning as well. And that is what's going to happen to some members in the ENC. ANC. That is what's going to happen to them when that shit pot explodes. And those people are the people that has got the opportunity today to say, guys, I'm done. And you walk out of there. Because when that pot explodes, everybody in that kitchen is going to be either injured, badly burned, or if they're unlucky, killed. That is what's going to happen there. Because that ANC cannot, if you look at basic facts, if you look at realities, if you look at history, if you look at all those things, you have to admit that thing cannot continue indefinitely. The internal stress and strain is too big. The divides are too big. That is the problem. People are trying to fool you that it is minor eruptions. I don't even want to think of the amounts of money that is changing hands to keep that shit show together in one Fenter trailer. Uh, I, I, I am astounded. But we know millions and millions are being spent. Cyril got millions and millions from his handlers to keep that shit show together because they want to keep it together until they're ready to implode it and explode it and destroy it. And they're not ready yet because ESCOM hasn't been privatized yet. So, that is what I'm saying. So the shit shot, moonshot of John Steenhuisen is as far as I'm concerned, a sideshow. It is a lightning conductor. It is a bluff. They want you to believe that you have a chance. It's not going to happen. And then I got this tweet this morning and I had a look at it and I read through it and I thought to myself, this is actually something that all the political parties should take note of. And it's from the ACDP. Please note that the ACDP is not part of the multi-party pact. That's a shit shot pact. This multi-coalition account does not speak for us. Neither do they represent our views. We will always remain opposed to the WEF and NWO globalist agendas. Full statement coming soon. And if you think back, this was the party that fought the hardest against the pestilence madness. They were not making any secret of their opposition to that thing. The only party, remember that. Now people will tell me, oh, this is a Christian party and all of that. They say, yeah, okay. That can be a problem for some people. But think about the facts. They may be an outspoken Christian party. That gives you some guarantees. That gives you guarantees that they will not tolerate corruption. That gives you some guarantees that they care for your moral values. They will look out for your children in the schools, not feed them to that rainbow beast. So, you can ask yourself, okay, do I want to be associated with a clearly Christian party, or do I want to be associated with a band of rogues?
that is the only choice you have. Because in South Africa we have got limited choices when it comes to political parties if you're a decent person. That other 297 fucking parties that are gonna, each going to get 12 votes, that is a bolsa making our vote, that uh, voting form looks like a damn telephone book. And that's not going to work. And I know Zola has spoken about it and they make legitimate remarks about the bullshit around so many parties. And we've got another thing. Independents can now stand. So there can be also another 497 independents on that list. It's never going to work. Not in a society like South Africa, of which a bulk of the voters are not properly educated. So, I'm not so sure how this is going to play out, but that it is heading for a shit show. That is for sure. So to those people that ask me about Neil de Beer, I've said my say, say uh, I don't, primarily, I don't trust the guy that changed from political parties. Plus that man, he's a big talker. He's got a lot of wah, 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 wah. Matt, where's the action? So, on this bloody cold, Monday or late Monday afternoon and we are heading for another load shedding session here and my UPS battery pack has seen its ass. Batteries cannot handle this constant up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. They cannot. I've tried. I'll do a skid mark about mine. I have done a skid mark previously and I'll do another one about what I have experienced. But we're sitting with a reality. The political elite in this country don't care about you. They only care about money and power. And that's all. So, in closing, we need the ANC to bust apart on cultural lines. That's it. Nothing else. Because that nest sitting in the Tullios is septic. There is so much lying and cheating happening there. And it's an unnatural thing. The faction lines are clearly visible. But Nobody wants to acknowledge it. And the stress in that party, you can see it now what the fuck is happening. Ramaphosa is now gunning for Paul. Other ANC guys, which are clearly triple X agents, are gunning for Mantasha. And well, where is the end going to be? I asked someone this morning, on Twitter, oh, not on Twitter, on WhatsApp. When are we going to see them taking one another out? Because it cannot continue like this. And I know this is an absolutely cock message that I've brought you today. Not something that you want on a cold winter's evening. But you need to take it into consideration. If you bank on the shit shot to be your Lifeboat, I've got news for you. That boat's not going to float. Primarily because the ANC will not surrender power. Let that sink in. Please give me a like, subscribe and share the thing. And I made a few shorter versions that I posted on Twitter, or on TikTok. And this morning the one section that I cut out for one of my skid marks about around about white monopoly capital. I this early this morning when I woke up and came to the PC and had a look and it was standing on fifty six point eight thousand views and ten minutes later I refreshed the screen.
community strike. So, for us, the guys that are reporting this shit, it's not easy. Because I, me personally, I'm not talking about any other one. Me personally, I always live with the stress. When are they going to cut me off? And that is what I have to live with. But you, while you have the opportunity to hear independent voices, don't waste that. Have a great evening.